got it? Yeah, yeah. No, no. It's the first time I driven to Florida. A long time ago, back in 1958 and 1980, my parents drove me to meet my brother in Florida. So I'm excited to go to Florida at the village. Now, uh, this is my car, ready to tea time. You don't need to drive a car to bring your golf cart here. When you're done, the golf cart back home. Wow, uh, like a dog. Now, uh, he's available to play golf. Got can't, so we're going to play golf for nine holes today. Wow, we just finished nine holes. Great game by the same level. Good, now it started to get hot and humid. It's beautiful for this. Hey, Lewis. I'm having fun playing golf again. Today is Memorial Day. Yes, Hi right there, I'm back here. I was here last November. Beautiful, the village. This is where they're gonna host the second national deaf pickleball tournament. I think there's like over 18 pickleball courts around here. But this coming in November. Take a look. My dear friend, and a good friend of our friend named Dr. Robert P. Penera, Penera, good friend. The name is Dr. Robert Gabella, right? Well, give that sign name. Gabella. He used to be a uh, Professor or director of NGI for 10 years. Then you got it there for how many years? Got it there for how many years? For two, three years. And it's a wonderful book that my college professor named Harry Lang wrote a book about his life. And Thane wrote a book about Bob Panera. Who 
four bucks, but I have both autographs. <laughs> <laughs> Bring memory you came to Kansas City. My CEO boss told me he sat next to him. I thought he was teaching me. He came to lunch and I brought him to Kansas City Barbecue. Then he went back again and he thanked me to bring him to the Negro League Baseball Museum. I'll never forget the museum. A good day. Hey, come back to Kansas City for Barbecue. Uh -huh.